What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're here with Author, and before I hit the unpause button, Trelawney kind of pulled me in for a quest. Literally, as soon as I loaded into the game, he said something about before you saw me in town, and maybe he said something about his wife, but I, you know, got to it as quick as I could before we missed anything. So, let's talk to Trelawney. I never knew you were married. It's hard, Arthur. I love her, but uh, I can't stand still. Can't do it. Poor woman. <laughs> oh, she's fine. She knows who she married. Did she? No, probably not. <laughs> Pro probably not, yeah. She probably has no clue, because we don't really even know who you are either, Trelawney. All right, let me go ahead and sleep because we got Billy Willy, Billy Willy's quest, Bill Williamson's quest to do. Night, morning. Let's go to morning. Is there anything on the map? No, I don't see anything. No. Let's go to the morning. Because I think Arthur needs some sleep. So we can try to get up and hopefully Pearson has the stew stewing. Oh. We'll just take it from there. It doesn't look like there's any more quests on the map. We could probably go back to the train station and see about getting more of the wagons. But I kind of want to do bills. Yeah, let's start bills. Good morning. Morning. Hey, What's up, Kieran? Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. Just keep your head down. All right, then. Take it easy, Kieran. Have a wonderful day, my friend. Sadie. Gotta help anyone who tries to get past you. Morning. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Sure. Just, you know, bullshitting around. Mary Beth. She's in her skibbies. Hi, Mary Beth. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> How old are you now? Oh, come on, Arthur. You know, you shouldn't ask a lady such things. Okay. What's we done wrong now? what I do? I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you'll look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. Molly, my dear. Molly, you're playing a dangerous game. <laughs> Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! <laughs> Molly, my dear, just in the middle hey, of that. Hey, Dutch. I should have said, hi, Dutch. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen Dutch look at anyone differently. Remember when we were dancing with Karen and she had a rifle all hanging out? Well, Dutch was over here dancing with Miss Grimshaw. What? Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Yeah, I was like, huh? Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. And you're telling me this because why, Arthur? Molly! Hey there. Good morning. You look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. All right then, Arthur. All right, take it easy, Molly. Right, let's go see who else we got around and about. I'm not doing chores right now. They're just gonna fester. Someone else can deal with that shit. Hey, ladies. Nice to see you, ladies. Hello. Good morning. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. I think we pretty much expended most of I'm the dialogue glad. here. Sure thing. Because... There just really isn't nothing. Ew, barely. 
Though we've been in this chapter for quite a while. Though we've been in every single chapter for what, quite a while. Though we've been in this whole game for quite a while, <laughs> to be honest. Let's just say it. We sure the fuck have. Drink away, Arthur. Look, the textures are doing... I thought that's what it was. Okay. The textures are still doing their thing again. Blinking in and out of existence. Hey, Sean! Sean. Morning, Arthur. Don't relax too much. Need you for a job soon. You know me? Always ready. Anyway, not right now. All right, then. Take it easy, Sean. Have a pleasant day. Okay, we got Bill over here, off in over yonder. We got some fellows over here. What's up, Pearson? I want that stew, but it's Mr. okay. Mr. Pearson. Fire's good and hot, Mr. Morgan. Good. You seem in a good mood. I do? Uh-huh. Okay, maybe not then. Sure, Arthur. Hey, Charles. Hey there, Charles. Don't know how we got anything done before you joined us. Huh. I like to keep busy. I mean, it's kind of true. Charles is a pretty valuable member. Anyway, keep it up. Bye, Arthur. Take it easy, Charles. All right, let's head over to Bill. Well, actually, before we head to Bill, because there's Hosea up here. It looks like John, and there's Kieran again. Hosea. How are you today, Arthur? You tired, old man? How did we end up over this way? Huh? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. Okay. Take it easy. Hello, gentlemen. That scar healed pretty well in the end. Same. See you later, John. Have a good one. We done ripped them enough about that. I mean, we literally did. Let's head on out. Let's go over to Bill Williamson and start his quest and see what he's got going on. Oh, look, it's Lenny. What's up, Lenny? I need a word with you, Morgan. <laughs> Fuck off, Bill. I'm busy. Oh, Lenny's here. He's part of the quest, probably. What's up, Bill? I'm here to serve. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if you're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. Okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. <laughs> I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Okay. Let's do it. Mr. They're all Morgan. so happy. Here's Strauss. That man. The data, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right, huh. follow me. What's this coat we got on here? What's his whole outfit? Okay, follow me. Thomas Downs is dead. Wasn't that the uh, sick guy? The guy that fucking hell that was the guy that we beat up. I mean, I didn't want to beat him up. It so, was. 
Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. <laughs> Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. Okay. And you always fancy yourself as the Volt Man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure okay. they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We've got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Be sure the fuck deal. Hey, easy. Sorry, Lenny. I didn't mean to run you over. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured, <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. Okay. I just told him we needed yeah. you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. <laughs> Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Mm -hmm. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's yeah. happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few <laughs> weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn. But we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Aaron? Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. 
takes one to know one. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Hey. We couldn't even. There was just so much more to say to the, so the, well. the crew there. But we couldn't slow the down. They would have just kept going. It'll, or we wouldn't have been in range to even talk to them. Ugh. That's rough you got that they give us. With me. They, they give us all these things to say to the crew here, and we can't hear it all. I guess we just gotta pick and choose. I was trying to get Karen, but Bill <laughs> kept having things. And to be fair, Lenny probably had more stuff too. So. I don't know. But well, we're robbing this bank in Valentine again. Or not again, but we're in Valentine again, and we're finally. We're finally. Hey, partner! Good morning. Going to rob it. I feel it. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, Excuse gentlemen. Me, here we are. Okay. Get ready. Where is he? Okay. I was gonna say, wait, where is he? Okay. Go to work. Of course. Do your thing, madam. All right. Keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Still looking muddy here. Oh, beautiful Valentine. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? I want the drunken harlot. Lost girl? Let's do the harlot. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. <laughs> You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. Now, where is he? You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Should we. Where is he? Where is he? Have you seen him? Hold on, ma'am. Let me get. You should leave, madam. I'm not leaving till I find him, boy. You're a disgrace to your sex, madam. So are you. Okay, no, we're going. You don't know. Uh, hold on. Stuck Wait till she's got him real damn. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, no. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. No uh, word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here. Unlock the door. Unlock the door. Close it, yeah. It's unlocked. We're good. Open the cellar door. Okay. Let me in there. Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? No, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. oh, open oh. the goddamn vault. Oh, oh. Open it. Oh, oh. Oh. Beat. Too goddamn oh. slow. Oh. Oh. Open it. Don't make me hurt you. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay. Okay. Shh. Son of a bitch, hurry up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Son of a bitch. Hurry up. <laughs> See you later. I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come okay. here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack safes? Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. Easy you peasy. Shut the hell up and stay still. Okay. We'll slow closer to the. Slowly crack. There we go. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it.
I think we got it. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. This is taking too long. I got the other one. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. I'm Hurry trying. Up in there. How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quieter. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Wait, we could have blew it. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Damn. Karen's no joke. Help! How's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. Got I'll another. Keep at the door. How's it looking there? Whoa. Good. Told you. <laughs> Don't count your chickens just yet. This is fucking so much money. Easy. Slow and steady. Come on. There it is. Oh, there's a master lock picker. Slow and steady. We got two more. We're not going to be able to get them. You know we're not. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Maybe Fine, Bill. there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. We're not going until we get it all, Bill. Woo! Last Take one. It. Good. We gotta move. Take it all. Friends, we got so much money. We just struck it rich. By Robin Valentine of all places. We should rob more banks. This seems so profitable. Well, it is a bank. They're so good. <laughs> Regroup. Let's steal more. It's got us regrouping. Nothing? Okay. You know there's got to be something more in here. Damn, he's got all these people dead. Loot the bank teller? Why not? Golden wedding ring. Can we loot the fireplace? No. What do we have here? We got a cigar, and we probably got what is this? It's something that we can't get. It's fine. Is this something too? No. They don't even know that we're here. Anyways, yet yeah, anyways. Oh, no, no, no. Let's open it and see what we got. Nothing? Okay, maybe we should get going. We do have another body here. I think. Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? I'm not gonna loot the other corpse. Let's just roll. Come on, let's run. You know they're gonna be on our tail. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god! Someone's robbed! Did somebody robbed the bat! And look, look, over there! Oh, 
start All rolling. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Damn it. We were close to getting out. Let's roll. We got low, man. I don't know where they're coming. Oh, you guys went that way? I'm on my way, don't worry. Keep rolling. We're fleeing to another country. They won't find us, don't worry. God damn it, there's more of them! Let's roll. Keep going. We'll get them all back there. Holy hell. How do they... Ow. Where, they come, where are they coming from? Look out! More of the sons of bitches! Got him, Bill. Don't you worry. Oh, he's still alive. Friends, we got so much money. We got more coming in. See ya. Keep rolling. Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, it's close. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. How much did we downs. get? Mrs. Downs? Oh, we gotta go to Mrs. Downs? Ride to Downs Ranch? So Strauss was really serious about that debt. I kind of don't yeah. want to do the debts anymore, Strauss. I really... Just honest with you, sir. I don't really want to do it, especially this one, Mrs. Downs. This is the one where the gentleman was sick and, well, we beat him, but we didn't, it wasn't like we, I don't, I think Arthur just beat him. I'm pretty sure we had no choice but to beat him, unfortunately. And this is the guy that was sick and, oh, fuck, I think this is the guy that coughed the blood in our face, remember? And then Mrs. Downs, we end up seeing her at camp one time, right? I remember Strauss was like in his skibbies and he was sitting at the table and Miss Downs came. Okay. So where is this one at? Now we're going to Downs Ranch, obviously. Oh, it's not that far. Valentine is locked down once again. I would have liked to actually go in there and, and check out the uh, the stagecoach robbery stuff that we were doing. Alright, boy. Oh, Brucey, you need some food, my friend. You want some carrots? I think that went pretty well, all things considered. How much money did we get from it? Seriously. I don't... How are we looking at the money? Oh, there it is. We only got... Friends, we got like a ridiculous amount of money from that mission. Well, I guess the mission's not over yet. Because this is still a continuation of that specific mission, so. Okay, no biggie, no biggie. 
All right, well, let's head to this Downs Ranch. I can't, I can't. It's not gonna be pleasant. I just don't think it will be. Strauss's missions hasn't been pleasant at all. <laughs> Between Strauss's missions and Micah's missions, they're like the two that, well, they've been kind of rough. Yeah. Oh. I think we can jump this. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. Rusi. See, I think jumping rocks gets us yeah. achievements or some shit. Yeah, Brucey. Let's keep jumping. Yep. Whoa! Did you see that? Yep. Hold on, let's keep jumping more. Idiot. I'm, well, we already got the, yep. the achievement or the challenge for it. Yep. Whoa! Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Brucey, I'm sorry. How are you, sir? Let me go ahead and patch it. You're good, Brucey. How about some... We don't want no basic ass. How about some hay? Yeah, okay, boy. I tried. <laughs> Sorry, Brucey. <laughs> oh, are you gonna give him the fucking hay or what, sir? There we go. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. Well, who taught you how to ride, Arthur? <laughs> Where's this guy? Yeah, Didn't even care. Boy. Didn't even hurt him. Here's a scratch, my friend. That's what he's saying. Here's a scratch, Arthur. Yeah, okay, boy. Try it again. <laughs> well, I guess we already did the obstacle stuff. Well, I know that we did it at one point. I just thought we could. We had a continuation of it. Fine. Right, let's go find Mrs. Downs. Yeah, this is definitely the place. Oh, really unfortunate, man. I got somebody already here. You okay, boy? Hey, friends. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. But he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself. And don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Arthur. I wish we didn't have to do that. I feel like we should have the option to let it go. Just let them roll, you know? I know the the business we're in is a is a dangerous one, a rough one, but I feel like I kind of wish we had the option to just let that debt go, that one specifically, chalk up the losses and move on. Because come on, friends, you know it's probably not more than like a hundred bucks. I'll pay it. Let me pay it, and just let them roll. Let them mourn. Fucking Strauss's missions. <laughs> Holy fuck! What the hell? Evening, Arthur. The uh, amount of money we just got. Holy shit! Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. 
There'll be plenty more where that came from. Run. We just got so much money. Alright, well, I should be getting on. Oh, no, no. We got Bill. We got money thing with Bill. We're gonna do that. Before, it's probably Micah's mission. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. Yeah. And that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, Evening, you keep Martha. it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a hey, rose's Javier. thorns. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, no, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. She ain't having that shit, Uncle. <laughs> oh, there's something about that woman. Sweet and sour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Though I would like you guys together, it'd be pretty awesome. But she ain't having that shit. Hey, fellas. Arthur. Hello. What's up, Dutch? I gotta give it to Bill, Karen, and Lenny. They made the right call going back there. It was exactly what we needed. Back on our feet. I thought we were already pretty much back on our feet, in a sense. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Now we're just swimming in the dough because look at how much money we got. I got four thousand dollars. We got three thousand dollars from that. Holy shit! What can't we buy at this point? <laughs> There's my boy. What's up, Lenny? Hey, folks. Mama. Hi. Evening, Arthur. Hey, Jack. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Oh, hey, Abigail. Abigail. Hello. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most part. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Okay. Evening, ma'am. Have a good one. Okay, we talked to people over here. We got Bill. Definitely have Micah's. It's got to be Micah's mission. Let me just start. I mean, come on. We haven't done a mission with Micah in a while. Micah Bell. We got a bounty poster. Somewheres. Where is there a bounty poster that we can go to? Because there's no bounties here. It's got to be in here. Yep, right here. San Denis. It's got to be in San Denis. That has to be San. We don't even know what that is. I'm just going to say that's what it is. It has to be. What about Strawberry? Can we go back to Strawberry for bounties? No. We got a coach robbery with Bill, but the thing is... We can probably go back up to Rhodes, and we, we should... Before next episode, when we start, we're not starting Micah's this episode. Next episode, we'll start Micah's, but before we start his, I'm thinking going into Rhodes. Just to make sure. Where's Mike at? I don't, I don't want to. Oh, he's over where Dutch's tent is. All right, well, let me put some stuff into the bank over here. And then keep it going. We'll do whatever we got with Bill here. In tribute. Hey, Micah, what are you doing in Dutch's chair, man? Hey, why don't get money? You hear this? You hear this music? Let's put like 20 bucks in there, why not? 20 dollars! Wait, let me get out. Oh, we're already out. What's up, Dutch? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Molly. Good evening. Oof. See ya, Dutch. You done lost your chair. Like I said, fuck. <laughs> F you, Dutch, and then kicked him out of his chair. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. That yeah. was a... Let's wait a bit. That was the most profitable one of all so far. And to be fair, it went pretty smooth. I'm happy hey, we Karen. cracked the safes, but we were probably limited on time. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Hey, Karen. Take care. My lady. Hey. Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. I know things have been hard. Yes. See you later. We have been on the up. Good for you. Good evening. What's up, Sadie? You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Oh, we got some stew. Just stewing. Always. Can't eat it. What's Pearson saying? I'm too old for that business. Far too old. 
Once you fought real Hello, monsters, sir. you got away alive. Not you, Dan. You head back to land and you count your blessings. What you up to? Monsters. Just minding my own business. Monsters. monsters. Whales. Whales. Whales are like kittens. You stick them with a harpoon, and you scoop them up and you head home and you act tough. That's easy. No. Real monsters. And sharks. <laughs> Sardines. <clears throat> Sardines. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sardines. Any real seagoer will tell you. Boys hunt whales. Men hunt sardines. It's not the size. It's the number. One mistake, okay. and they'll swamp you. I've seen 300-pound men eaten alive. I once saw a Portuguese wrestler crushed by a net that ripped. It's the sheer volume of them. Brutal. Brutal business. You learn a new thing every day. Exactly. Say, did I ever tell you boys that I once thought about going to sea? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the honest truth is that I was in love with the captain's wife, and she, and she was in love with me, and, <laughs> well, we were we were going to sail to Brazil and, and raise cattle. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I got drunk. Missed the boat. I mean, literally missed the boat. Yeah. I, by the time I got to the docks, it was gone. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. Sometimes you just get drunk. All right. All right. All right. Lots of work to do around here. <laughs> Someone should get on that. I reckon I'll take John. my chances with a sardine hey over there, a whale. Ah. And that is where perception and experience collide. Okay, Mr. Pearson. One single sardine won't do much. Oh, we done lost Bill's quest, friends. No. Damn it. I guess we should get on things like that. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I should do some work. Go ahead, do some work, big guy. Hey, Bill. You did good. And Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, Damn. you were right. Getting ruffled. <laughs> Fucking hell, I wanted to do Bill's quest. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Morgan. Somebody singing? The Golden Boy. Hello, Arthur. What's up, John? See? We can be nice to each other. I guess. Let me, let me go hear this song. Whenever he chose to try. Ride most anything, and now he seldom will. He says they cut some caper, of which she got his fill. Which she got his fill. He's done and quit the business, settled down to quiet life. Hunting for some maiden will be his little wife. Be his little wife. But a wash and patch his bridges and feed the setting hen. Milk all blue and brandy and tend to baby Ben, tend to baby Ben. Yep. Really good. I wish I got all of it instead of the end. <laughs> Mary Beth trying to sleep and everybody's over there singing. Was that it? Come on, I want more. Oh, I love that song. Nice to see you, ladies. Hi, Arthur. Hey there. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. What's up, Hob? You're sounding good. Maybe if we go to bed again, we can get Bill's quest up and running again? Possibly? Or we can go out and about and go to Rhodes and... Let's just go to bed. Why not? Getting on a good schedule here. Now, Pearson, I would like some stew. It won't let me eat the stew. Unless it's still been too soon since the last time we ate the stew. Oh, we can. We're going to take the bowl, we're going to go to sleep, and then we're going to wake up and hope that Bill's Quest is there. If Bill's Quest is there, we'll head to Rhodes and try to get some more of the uh, Stagecoast robbery things on board. Just to knock them out, because I feel like... 
Damn, Arthur, he was hungry. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Uncle. Take it easy, Unc. Okay, let's head to bed. Let's get some time rolling. Hopefully Bill's quest will come back. They don't seem to go away, kinda. Well, Lenny. they do. Hello, Arthur. But they end up coming back. So I remember a few came back when we slept or something. Okay, so I don't want to change clothes. I want to go to sleep. Go and inspect the bed. We'll go to the morning. Let's just, four hours, sure. That should be enough for Bill. Hey, Micah, don't mind me. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep right here. You just sit in Dutch's chair for eternity. We'll get to you at some point. We need to read the journal, too. Because we were pinged for something in the journal right before Trelone pulled me in for the episode. Well, it doesn't look like Bill's got a quest going on here. Damn, so we missed it. Unfortunate. But Bill's sleeping, that's why. Or that's Pearson. Yeah, that's Pearson. Alright, well, what I can do is... Yeah, Bill's still sleeping. I can go out of camp here. Actually, let's go around to see if anyone pulls us in. Or anything new. What the fuck's Trelawney? There he Night, is. Mr. Trelawney. Why don't you sit, Arthur? I got stuff to do. I can't sit. Looking smart as always. One must have standards, dear boy. <laughs> Perfect attire for the great outdoors. Hi, old boy. Hello. To be fair, Arthur, his alpha is not that much different from yours. He just got just a little bit fancier stuff on. Look at Bill. He's fucking corpse status. Bill, get up. You got a quest for me, man. I know you do. We'll go outside of the camp. There he is. Yeah, all right there. Yeah. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Because I want to read the journal. I don't want to miss anything. If we're in the camp, we'll just miss stuff. And maybe if we're far away, we don't really miss it, right? Maybe. All right, let's look at the journal. Let's see what we got going on, because it's been quite a bit. Whoa. It's been a while. We done read this, for sure. Well, let's read it again. Found a crazy woman, real strange looking, locked in a kind of outhouse, hidden on Braithwaite Manor. World ain't a kind place to folk like her. Yeah, we haven't really discussed this situation, but, I mean, we kinda did. Thing is... Why? And how long have she, have she just been neglected like this? You know she's been locked away her whole life to kinda turn out the way she was. Why, though? What the fuck's wrong with them? Do some shit like that. Another body that seems linked somehow to the previous one. More paper in the mouth. Maybe directions to some place I don't know. Oh, that was the second clue that we found. Shit. We still need to find more clues. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who was looking for him and the means to getting to us. Whole thing turned nasty, and he'd been treated pretty bad, but we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their wake. So came back to camp with us. Sure the fuck did. No shit hit the fan when Trelawney comes back to camp with us. There always seems to be more bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back to the open country of the West and what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Vanilla flower. <laughs> Vanilla flower, sure. And this is a boar. Big one. A legendary boar that we killed. Flowers with a snake. And that would be that. We are completely caught up. Bill, you in camp yet with quests and stuff, sir? You sure the fuck ain't, Bill? Bill? Do I have to wake you up? Let's get him up. Let's kick him. Let's see if we can get him up. Look at the camp funds. They barely have any camp funds. Bill! Huh. What? Get a quest for me. Ah, oh. uh, don't worry. It can wait. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. This motherfucker fell asleep with a beer in his hand. Hey, Bill. Get up. Can we see? Why are you always under my feet, Williamson? <laughs> are you always 
<laughs> this motherfucker woke up and drank. Went back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go to Rhodes. Let's head to Rhodes and see if we got any more of them stagecoaches we can just jack. And then... There you have it. To be fair, that might have been what that was. It seemed like that's what it was. It looked like a stagecoach for Bill. I mean, we can talk around camp until Bill gets his ass up. Or I can sleep again. Let me try to sleep again. Bill, you got me sleeping like a big lazy person. They're going to kick me out of camp. But there's some people talking over here. Is he an honest fraud? The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. Ew. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. <laughs> He's very ornamental, Ew. as my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Nah, Miller's a slave to a slave to pretty words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. Let me... Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. <laughs> I want to know who that is. <laughs> Keep quiet, Morgan. He'll eat you alive. It ain't difficult. <laughs> yeah, but you should heed Lenny's words at times, you know? Lenny's been kind of on point. Alright, Dutch, take it easy. I don't really know who the fuck they were talking about. I seen Bill get his happy ass up in the background. Who's this, Trelawney? Oh, there you are, Strauss. Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Take it easy, Strauss. Have a pleasant day, my friend. Don't give me any more quests, Strauss. At least not for that family, okay? Well, they're gone now. Damn it, Bill. So I don't think we got... Hello? There she is. Bill's quest. Good morning. Anymore, unfortunately. That's shitty. I wanted to do it. We should have just grabbed it right then and there, damn it. But I wanted to talk to people. Where the fuck did Bill hey, go? We got a well stocked larder, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Sean. Good. good. Yeah, I, haven't, is good. I haven't brought anything At here for a while, wow, Pearson. Take care, sir. Okay, well, let's go to Rhodes then. Is Bill. Uh, there you are, Bill. Come here, Bill. Keep going, because I got a quest that I want to do for Good you. Old Bill. Hey! What you up to? Nothing much. It looked like another robbery, but. Damn. I think the last time we did this, it was like Javier or something. It was somebody had a quest for us, right? I couldn't get it, and I, I remember coming back into the game itself, because it went away. It was at the, like, chapter 2 or something. We've been able to hit it on point this chapter but chapter two there was some or it was one of the chapters i don't know for javier but it ended up going away but it came back when i loaded back into the game at camp which is fine all right well let's go to roads real quick i want to check it out and see if there's there any more of them bounties and honestly oh brucey okay, you are boy. fucking beautiful sir look at your You're coat all right boy Gotta be the most beautiful horse in the game between this and the uh, White Arabian, Yuki. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're gonna head to Rhodes and see if there's any more of these stage coaches that we can steal because they seem to be pretty quick and it's a good little money gig. And I want to get them all done before. Well, I gotta be honest. I think we're getting close to getting out of this chapter. Keep your eyes peeled, Marshal. At least it feels like it, because, I mean, well, I don't, I don't know, actually, because we need some resolution on the Braithwaite and the Grays, and we kind of haven't dealt with them for a minute, because they have to be the end focal point of this chapter here. Us, you know, playing both sides, basically, I'd imagine. 
But maybe Micah's quest that he gives us will push stuff a little bit forward. I mean, we're only getting one mission at a time here. So, I mean, we can take it slow just to make sure we're getting stuff and we're not missing things. But damn shame that we missed uh, Bill's quest. I know we probably didn't miss it, but... See, look, there is something here. Oh, come on. This is exactly what Bill had going on. Bill was probably going to do this with us. And if we do this, we'll probably miss whatever Bill was going to give us. Let's just do it since we're here. Whoa. Great Scott. Great Hold Scott. On, I'll be right there. <laughs> Great Scott. Get over here, Alden. Hey there. Hello. Ah, oh, good to see you. Let stranger. me write down the name of that, uh, Taylor for you. Coach robbery tip, two dollars. So, what are we looking at? Passenger's a wealthy merchant. Always travels with a lot of cash on him. Details on the note. Okay. Good seeing you, Alden. And you, my friend. And you. So? Okay, let me inspect that. Reed Road southwest of Bulger Glade. Look for a carriage coming from the south. Passenger is a wealthy merchant. Probably keeps his cash hidden, so might need some persuasion. XXX. XXX. Persuasion. Take it easy, old. Have a good one. Thank you for this your help. Been, been out here. Great Scott. <laughs> Can't believe that motherfucker just said that. Someone said it. We must have pinned. There we go. Okay. We're good. We don't need any weapons. No armors. I don't believe. Where is this? He said south. It's going this way. Oh! Down by the Braithwaite Manor. Okay. John? Howdy. Ain't there another town you can go pester? I didn't do nothing in this town. It's a wonderful town. I've been nice in it. Hi, uh, folks. I remember Sean was nice doing this. people around here. They're so nice. Alter Day ain't even saying shit to you. Let's go. Let's rob ourselves a coach. Stagecoach. I kind of want to... Well, I feel like we... Stop right where you are. You best finish. You'll have to ask me nicer than that. Enough of this! What, what should we play at your funeral? Yeah. <laughs> hey, fellas! Let, him run. Let me fucking hog tie him. Can I hog tie him? Oh, I can't. Back a coward. We got better things to do. Oh, I got. Okay. Okay. I got something. <laughs> Okay, I was trying to hog tie him. <laughs> I think I got honor for just rolling out. Hey, we can't cause trouble here anyway, so that's fine. See you later, yeah. Lemoyne Raiders. I was saving. Yeah. Oh. Brucey! Oh, oh, brother. Sorry, Brucey. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'm trying to find Gavin. Yeah. I've seen him pinged on the map here. I, I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. Where's he at? He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Is Gavin perhaps Someone an Someone must animal? have seen an Englishman. Oh, never mind. Really funny he is. <laughs> Hello. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really? Best mates? He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Gavin! Where are you? Oh, 
I am so worried. Well, the best thing we can Gav. do is just keep an eye out for a Gavin. I Gav. haven't seen nothing on a Gavin. You got some practice Gav. in Gavin's practice. I'm... Where are you? Excuse me, I gotta get going. Come on. Where are what? you? Pardon me, sir. I'll look for Gavin. I'll keep an eye out. Gotta be somewhere, I think. Fucking fences ain't safe around Brucey. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, man. Let's go rob this stagecoach. He said you're gonna need some persuasion. Where are we gonna take it at? To probably take it to, uh. Um, Famous, I guess. That's the only thing I can really think of. Who's it? The fuck is this? Hold on, let's get some dynamite out. Turn around. This up here's quick. What? Hey, he's It's the misty beyond for you. Hey guys. Hey, fellas! <laughs> How you doing? We'll put you in the dark, you bastard! <laughs> no war stories for you, fellas. It's okay, boy. <laughs> Let's put that away. <laughs> Hello. Anyone home? Let's loot. <laughs> oh no, you did. That's it. See. The Lemoyne Raiders got an ass whooping. And some dynamite. <laughs> I knocked my goddamn hat off. Well, let's loot their corpses because they got some things and stuff. Poor Brucey. <laughs> Just chucked like 75 things of dynamite. <laughs> got my hat, Brucey. I'll get you in one second, I promise. Let me loot, okay? I got. I just want to make sure we're getting all of these corpses. We probably didn't need all that dynamite, but it was kind of. Hey, Brucey. Okay, boy. <laughs> all right, boy. All right, Brucey. We're good. We're good. Let's yep. go rob a cape. Stagecoach. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Oh. Red Dead? Well, we Red Dead. Things happen. There, and, uh, boy. Wait for the stagecoach to arrive. Yeah, okay, boy. We can chuck dynamite at it. Don't think that's going to be a good idea, though. Stagecoach? I mean, where do we wait? Oh, okay. Force the stagecoach to stop. Should we pull our... Okay, let's get a mask going. Why not? <laughs> let's just sit right These damn in the road. Are hell on my back. Could you please control your horse? Howdy! Hey there yourself! Hey there yourself! Get your hands up and keep them there! Just want a word with your passenger. Okay! He's all yours! God. We're being robbed! Not the passenger. Oh. Let me... Hold on. Oh, we had fire bottles. Let me... Hold it right there! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Old Ty's ass. You leave me alone! I know about the money. Hand it over. I don't know what you're talking about. Loot him. Okay, okay, stop! I'll tell you. There's a lockbox hidden under the coach. 
The money's in there. You better not be lying to me. I'm not. I swear. Okay, let me pick you up and put you in the bushes over here. Here we go. I'm gonna pick you up and put you behind this rock. So nobody comes and runs you over, at least. Stay right here, sir. Put you by the rock. I'll come <laughs> back for you. I promise. <laughs> I'll come back for you, I promise. This is a pretty good spot. Loop. Take it. Twenty-five dollars. Can we take this and give it to Seamus? Okay, let's see if we can go give this to Seamus. Where the fuck Seamus at, though? All the way in... Well, I think we can, honestly. Wagon fence. I'm gonna go give this to Seamus. If something triggers, then we'll cut him. Well, we are getting very close to Emerald Ranch. And uh, we have a pretty hefty bounty in New Hanover. I'm surprised no bounty hunters got us because this was a long trek. Let's hope Seamus takes it. If not, I'm parking this bitch. Oh, he is taking it. I to say, I was gonna park it right outside of his shack. Hey, Seamus! I got some goods for you. Well, I'm curious to see what it is, because I was just going to leave it there. I'm glad we this brought it might be of interest over. To you. Seems to be in order. I'll take it. And this is for you. Thank you. I want a fine day's work. So you know, we got $25 for that. Cool, Hope just for a little stroll. No time for masks. All right, all right, let me get off of it, because everybody on the road was yelling at me for masks, too. Let me see about selling some stuff to Seamus, and then we will call it on that note. We got to pay the bounty over here. You're back. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. All right, all right. Let me okay, sell some stuff. let's see. What you got going on, Seamus? A plain necklace with a pretty blue gemstone. Mm. Rid of that. That's crafting stuff there. Gonna be sold for cash. Oh yes. People lose these all the time. That was pretty much it. Alright, Seamus. Thanks for your help. Okay. Keep this just between us now. Won't you? Always. Let me go over here and pay the bounty, because we have a $120 bounty in New Hanover. Let's just get it done so we don't have to just kill a shit ton of bounty hunters whenever we head back to camp for Micah's quest. I guess that's, well, that's the path we're going to take. We're going to do Micah's quest anyway next, but the thing is, I would like to try... Oh, sorry, Brucey. I would love to try to... Not see you again, sir. How are ya? Hey, Bounty. I'd like to try to see if Bill's hey, quest comes on board. Good for you, I guess. Easy. Stand up citizen we are now. Alright, well, let me look at the map because we probably still have some more of these quests to do, which is the stagecoaches. And that's all fine and dandy, but next episode we will be... I will be back at camp, probably right on the outskirts of it because I want to walk into camp. Talk to some people, eat, maybe sleep, and then see if Bill's quest will trigger again, or whatever quest was there. And if it doesn't, then we will just start Micah's quest. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. Yeah, have a good see one. you next time. Take care.